Drawing is easy and fun. Everybody can learn it. I will show you a few basic tools in Illustrator with which you can draw everything you want. So stay tuned. First, I will launch the Adobe Illustrator. If you need it, you can download the link in the video description. At the beginning, I will show you my Illustrator setup. First, colors. I use the Zipup color palette. I added the palette link in the description. Yeah, below. <laughs> okay, second, smart wise. Great tool. It attracts shapes and helps to arrange them more precisely. And one more thing which is good to know at the beginning is the shape I use. There are the first three tools. Rectangle tool, round rectangle tool and ellipse tool. I will use round rectangle tool and already have the shape of the face. Now I will use ellipse tool for the eyes and I will paint it in the black. I need one more eyes. But in this case, I will don't use classical Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. I use paste in front. Because if I copy an object with Ctrl plus V, it will appear over other objects and sometimes it create a mess. So, I will copy it over the object I want to copy. I have character eyes. Check it if they are grouped. Okay, now I will draw a nose. And I will use round rectangle tool and slightly darker skin colors. <laughs> I bet he can smell something on the few miles. Quite a big nose. I will use no shape for the mouth, but it will be black because they are open. And I want to cut the upper part of the shape. It's time to show you my favorite tools. If you want to delete orange object and everything below that, I will use minus front tool. If you want that all object become one, I will use unite. And finally my favorite tool, the white. It will separate all the surface between the blue lines. The white is here, in the house. <laughs> when I ungroup the surface, I can delete all that I don't need anymore. I like when there is the same distance between those two points and those. Now I will draw the ears. I will use the ellipse tool and paint it in the skin color. I will copy it and increase it. New object will be painted in darker skin color. This way I get the depth of the ear. I will move it to the background and copy it. Now I will draw a silly hair. I will draw a circle with the ellipse tool and swap fill to straw or outline and increase the height of the outline. I want to delete this part of shapes. I will use direct selection tool for that. With it I can select the specific points of the shape. I want to delete this one. And I really want rounded corners of my new object. So go in the stroke palette and then choose round of gap. Cool. One more thing, if you increase the object, the stroke of object will stay the same, so I need to convert outline to fill object. Just go under object, path and choose outline stroke, that's it. The head is over, now I'll use round rectangle tool for neck. It will be darker than face because a shadow falls on him. Yeah. For body I usually use rounded rectangle, but this time it will be ellipse tool. Okay, I need to find the right proportion. It's time for arms. First, I will draw the upper arm and copy. I divide the arm because it, it will be perfect for animation and I plan to do some animation tutorial, so stay tuned. I will use the same shape for the hand. And I'm missing the thumb. But now it's complete. When you rotate the object, use Shift Command on the keyboard for 45 degrees rotated. 
Now I will copy the arm under transform, select reflect, then I will choose vertical and click OK. Let's do it. And now it's time for legs. I will draw the legs in the same way as the arms. Send to back. And final step is the shadow. Now I can play with the details. And I can play with position of body. Hello, hello. Select rotate and just click between those two points and rotate. And that's it. It's easy. Okay. If you like the drawing process, like, share, subscribe because the best is yet to come.